stops and run make at Hollywood Park. Ederson is the winner. And they're off. Bob running. Bob's is drawing up. And Bob's running. Bob's is drawing up. 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 Bob's
Northern Indy in second. Dynamic Coast continues to travel comfortably, third at the rail in the red and less than two from the front. Honor the deputy is the gray. He'll be three or four wide leaving the backstretch, but he's only two and a quarter off the lead. Balladry has trailed throughout, but he's still in striking position. Now there's three furlongs left to race. Richard's kid goes to the quarter pole. Honor the Deputy is going to run up three wide, and there goes Honor the Deputy all the way up into second. Meanwhile, Dynamic Host responds to his challenge and takes second. Northern Indy's gone. Balladry is eight from the lead, and they run to the top of the stretch, and Richard's Kid is the leader. Richard's Kid settles into the lane. He's got a two-and-a-half length lead. Dynamic Host has raced in second, then to the outside and Honor the Deputy, but Richard's Kid has leveled out beautifully, and look at him return to the races. Richard's Kid now six or seven from Dynamic Host, Richard's Kid wins. Never felt the crack of the whip and won by seven. Dynamic Host was second. Balladry rallied for third. Honor the deputy fourth. An impressive return to America by Richard's Kid. His first win in the country since October 2010 when he took down the Goodwood. His next five races in the Middle East. Richard's Kid next stop possibly the Hollywood Gold Cup. Rafael Bayerano aboard for Bob Baffert, a Maryland bred son of Lemon Drop Kid. The winner returned three dollars and sixty cents. Dynamic host fired, which just was second best. Third was Balladry. Early double, nineteen dollars and twenty cents. A mile and three eighths and two sixteen and two. We'll take a break. Come back with the Friday night pick six. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July fifteenth. World class racing awaits you like the Grade One Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade One American Oaks. Free contest like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Pet Fair Hollywood Park. Friday's third tipped off the pick six onto the grass. Six furlongs, three olds and up, which have not won a race in 2012 and a claiming price of $25,000. Scratch number two, Inuit Fisher. Classic Bobby gilded since his last start. is bet down to the two to one choice. Six went six on the grass in race three. They're up. Dance with Gable and Classic Bobby shows speed. Striking spirits sent between those two, Drift King and Seattle Ruler. And the early trailer is the stretch running Star Nicholas. Classic Bobby off the elbow, a half length in front of Striking Spirit in second. Dance with Gable and the Greg Drift King at the rail. They're only about a length and a half from the lead. Then it's five lengths to Seattle Ruler, and another ten lengths last is Star Nicholas as they leave the back stretch. Classic Bobby continues to lead. He has pressure from Striking Spirit in second. Classic Bobby's a half length in front. Now he makes it a length as he cornered better than Striking Spirit. Drift King moves through and takes second now. Meanwhile, Dance with Gable is moving up third as Striking Spirit has dropped back fourth. Seattle Ruler just moved through at the rail, draws within three of the lead. Not today for Star Nicholas, top of the stretch and here comes Drift King outside of Classic Bobby. Classic Bobby half ahead now Drift King new leader he puts his head in front. Classic Bobby Seattle Ruler two from the front Drift King leads. Drift King now a length and a half. Classic Bobby Seattle Ruler Drift King in front. Drift King won by a length. Seattle Ruler was second. Classic Bobby third and Dance with Gable finish fourth. First time Rafael Bejarano a perfect ride on Drift King. Son of Concord's tune scores his fourth win in his 27th career start at $11.60. Dan Hendricks, the winning trainer for Thoroughbred Stable LLC. Second to long shot, Seattle Ruler, and finishing third was Classic Bobby. That super effect is $654.30. Final time, 109 and 1. Moving on to race number four, it's seven furlongs maiden claimers for a $40,000 tag and a field of eight. Number seven, Con Kate, back in for claiming tag. Bet down to the choice at two to one. Next offer with the call of race four. They're off. Valentina and Tiz final break. Well, Con Kate and Cash in hand are close up. Chapel Chick away in fifth. Then comes Pumpkin Pie and Cupid's Bling, and the early trailer is Valeria. Concade up the back stretch, just narrowly in front of Tiz Final. Those two pretty much even. Tiz Final, 
now moves through and takes the lead. Ballantina, Pumpkin Pie, and Chapel Chick. That's cash in hand between horses in the lime green. The other lime green is Pumpkin Pie towards the back of the pack. Then comes Cupid's Bling in sixth now at about six from the front. Valeria moves through at the rail, and now Pumpkin Pie is the trailer. Three and a half furlongs left to race with Tiz Final in front. Tiz Final, three quarters of a length from Concate in second. Same margin to Ballantina. Chapel Chick, three wide. Four wide Cupid's Bling, but on the move. Cupid's Bling and Chapel Chick move within two of the lead. Cash in hand drops back, passed by both Valeria and Pumpkin Pie. Wide open top of the stretch, Tiz Final, Con Kate, Chapel Chick and a four wide Cupid's Bling. Valentina drafts through at the rail. Valentina's got run, needs a tight spot through, and Con Kate has taken over the lead. Con Kate in front, a length and a half. Valentina, the rail opens, but now two to make up. Chapel Chick to the outside, Con Kate clear and running away. Con Kate, Valentina, and Chapel Chick, Con Kate in front. Concate won two and a half. Valentina second. Chapel Chick third. Pumpkin Pie fourth. Concate and Joe Talamo rolled a victory in race number four for trainer Steve Knapp. Owners, breeders, Jim and Sylvia Didion. Concate, a daughter of exchange rate, 660 to win. Valentina was second and Chapel Chick rounded out that trifecta. The pick three, $55.80. Final time, 124 and two. Take a break, come back with a late pick four. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Friday night's fifth race, the start of the late pick four, a mile on the turf, maidens for a nice purse of $52,000, fillies and mares three and up. Marinda and Jolly Days, both eight to five, $885 separated the two, Jolly Days went favored. Scratch for Dula, Vic Stoffer with the call. They're off. Spin the blues, it's candy time and ghost of a chance. More chocolate and jolly days. Marinda at the rail and the early trailer is Dixie in pink. Spin the blues and it's candy time. Quickest early, spin the blues three quarters. It's candy time is second, the same margin to a lineup of three. Marinda, very headstrong between horses, moves up into third. Might get into second soon, won't settle right now. Marinda's on the move, a length and a quarter from the front. Then comes Ghost of a Chance and more chocolate. They've both got two and a half to come. Jolly Days is comfortable about seven lengths behind. And three back to Dixie in pink. Marinda wanted to get all the way to the lead, and she's drug her way to that point. Marinda up the back stretch now. Two in front of It's Candy Time and Spin the Blues. More chocolate is fourth with three and a half to make up. Ghost of a Chance has five, le five lengths to make up. Then it's three back further to Jolly Days, and the trailer is still... Dixie in pink as they leave the back stretch, and it is Marinda. Three furlongs from the wire and a length and a quarter in front of It's Candy Time in second. Spin the Blues stays at the rail. Now pushed along and moving through to take second. It's Candy Time doesn't respond to the whip, backs out. Jolly Days is passing horses. Meanwhile, so is more chocolate, and more chocolate's saving a lot of ground. They've all got Marinda to catch. Marinda, final furlong, a two-length lead. More chocolate comes after her. So does Jolly Days, closing in the center of the turf course. Marinda, a 16th out, but here comes Jolly Days, and Jolly Days has taken over the lead. Marinda, more chocolate into second. Jolly Days into first. Jolly Days won two and a quarter. More chocolate was second. Close for third, maybe Marinda over Ghost of a Chance. Jolly Days rallies from far back to break her maiden in her fourth lifetime start. She's a daughter of Street Cry, owned by Stronic Stables, trained by Patty Gallagher, Garrett Gomez up. $5.40. Perfect ride by Alonzo Quinones and owner up. More chocolate, who was second best. Third to pace hitter Marinda. Pick four, $93 and a nickel. Pick five, four eighty-five forty. dollars Final time, one thirty-six and one. On to race number six at five and a half furlongs, Phillies and Mares three and up, a claiming tag of $8,000. Number one after later takes a drop in class, bet down to the seven to five favorite. Take blinkers off number two, Philly Power. Scratch number four, Studio City. 
Eight went five and a half to kick off the final pick three. They're off. Hey, I'm Soba, Ashabu, close up, Philly Power in the mix, Lady Lore, Miss Peanuts in the firing line as well, between horses, Mama Janka. Then comes after later, Ashabu is now second last, and the trailer is Scalper's Dream. Philly Power rides the rail to lead Hey, I'm Soba into the far turn, Philly Power three quarters. Hey, I'm Soba is second by a length and three quarters to Mama Janka and Miss Peanut. After later is fifth at the rail and four from the lead. Lady Lord just outside of her. Ashabu is backpedaling out of it, drops back to last, passed by Scalper's Dream, top of the stretch they run, and Philly Power and Hey, I'm Soba pretty much even. Hey, I'm Soba and Philly Power match strides. It's now four lengths back to Mama Janka, Lady Lore, Miss Peanut, and after later, Philly Power turns away. Hey, I'm Soba and now leads by two. Philly Power, a clear-cut leader. Hey, I'm Soba is second. To the outside, Lady Lore third and Miss Peanut, but it's Philly Power to the wire, and Philly Power wins. Philly Power, big win, three and three quarters. Hey, I'm Soba second. Scalper's Dream split horses to be third, and Miss Peanut was fourth. An upset in the sixth race. Philly Power first off the claim for trainer Victor Fernandez. Agapito Delgadillo aboard the blinkers came off, and his daughter of Memo got her third win in her 12th start. 22.80 on the win end. Second, Hey, I'm Soba, and long shot Scalper's Dream ran on for third. The trifecta signer, $636.10. There was a claim in the race. Number one after later, a three way shake. Claimed by Labrado Barocio for $8,000. Final time, 104 and 2. We'll take a timeout. Come back with a seventh. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Friday night's seventh race, six furlongs on the turf, an allowance race with an optional claiming price of $62,500. Put blinkers on the three Royal FJ. Number five, Coast from the John Sandler Barn with two Sandler entrants to favorite at two to one. Six went six on the grass in race seven. They're off. He's a dance star, Flight of a Lifetime, and L.A. Weekend, and L.A. Weekend and Flight of a Lifetime very fast off the elbow. He's a dance star, backs off, and they are flying up the backstretch. Flight of a Lifetime and L.A. Weekend could not possibly be going any faster. Then comes He's a dance star, out sprinted five lengths now. Then comes Coast and Don Tito and Royal FJ, already double digits from the dueling leaders. Flight of a Lifetime is inside. L.A. Weekend is outside, and the two of them trade punches, leaving the backstretch. L.A. Weekend ahead in front. Flight of a Lifetime is second. He's a dance star. Tracks those front runners and gets closer now for Gogo. -Go. Here's He's a dance star. Coast is moving in. He's only four from the front. Don Tito and Royal FJ LA Weekend has won the battle early, but can he win the war? Because here comes stretch runners and Coast is the first one to pounce. Coast has taken over the lead. He's a dance star. Don Tito, Royal FJ from the back of the pack, but it's Coast a 16th out and he's two in front. Coast, he's a dance star. Don Tito, Royal FJ, it is Coast. Coast won by two and a quarter. He's a dance star second, Don Tito third, Royal FJ finish fourth. Nice ride by Rafael Bejarano as he takes Coast off the pace and into the winner's circle for trainer John Sadler and owner Sharanis Racing. A son of lawyer Ron, Coast returns $6.80 and gives Rafael Bejarano a hat trick on this Stanley Cup weekend. Second, he's a dance star. Third was Don Tito. Pick three, 168.40. Final time, 108 and four. Eighth and final wraps up the card at seven and a half furlongs maiden claimers for a claiming price of $20,000. Only number two, side pocket kid is covered in the pick six. Number five, sweet elation to favorite at five to two. Scratch the seven axle, fixed offer with the call. They're at the post. They're off. Very awkward start for side pocket kid. 
Mr. Newton and Patriotic Lion break best. Sweet Elation is between horses and Franconi's at the rail. Then comes Mr. Night Fever, followed by Scully Gully and Looking Mighty Tough, and the bad start has Side Pocket Kid desperately last. Patriotic Lion up the back stretch, three quarters of a length from Mr. Newton, and now moving up on the outside is Sweet Elation, and Sweet Elation and Mr. Newton track the front running Patriotic Lion. Franconi is fourth and three and a half off the lead. Scully Gully has four and a half to make up. Then it's a gap of 10 lengths back to looking mighty tough, and the trailer is Side Pocket Kid as they leave the back stretch. Patriotic Lion, three quarters of a length in front of Sweet Elation, who's now trying to come after him in second. Mr. Newton under a full out drive, third and three from the front. Franconi is next. Scully Gully's about to pass him. Side Pocket Kid is moving up, but he's 10 from the lead. Then looking mighty tough, and they run to the top of the stretch. New leader, Sweet Elation. Sweet Elation to the final furlong, now with a two-length advantage over Patriotic Lion. Side Pocket Kid is continuing to close, and now he's closing fast. Sweet Elation is the leader. Side Pocket Kid trying to make up three in the final 16th, but he is closing ground. Sweet Elation reaching, Side Pocket Kid surging. Sweet Elation, Side Pocket Kid, Sweet Elation. Carry over tomorrow, Sweet Elation held off. Side Pocket Kid beat him by a diminishing neck. Close for third and fourth between Mr. Newton and Mr. Night Fever. Patriotic Lion might have been fifth. The favorite, Sweet Elation, has just enough left to hold off an unlucky side pocket kid who broke horribly and made up a ton of ground. Probably was best, but had to settle for second. Martin Pedroza, Peter Miller, owners Madero Thoroughbred, $7 even on the win. That trifecta, $196.50. Super high five, $2,438.20. Late pick four, $470.65. In the pick six, Nobody had all six. Carry over seventy-four thousand two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Five out of six, eight sixteen twenty. Place pick all eight out of eight, five hundred twenty dollars and thirty cents. Scratches for Saturday. First post eleven a.m. In the fifth, take out the seven Pine Drive. In the eighth, scratch the twelve Joe Dogs. Eleventh and final, take out the one A Natural and the twelve Arians Love. A pick six carry over on Belmont Saturday. Just over seventy-four thousand dollars. That'll do it for Friday Night Racing at Hollywood Park. Belmont Day on Saturday, early first post, 11 a.m., 11 live races, including Acclamation's return in the Charlie Whittingham. Again, first post at 11 a.m. Hope to see you on Belmont Day. Until then, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. We'll see you back soon at Betfair Hollywood Park.